Guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Let's Doodle, where I, Lee, your host of Rad Robot, uh, draw dudes, specifically one at a time. That's what we're doing right now. Today we're going to start out with a little bit of background. Let's do, let's do a, um, let's do, it's, it's summary, so let's do a, let's do a little beach, little beach background. Uh, so I've been thinking about what to do with these videos, and I think I came to the conclusion that I want to kind of make this like a little, a little, a little talk and draw, uh, which is what it was before. But I'll just be, you know, I'll just be talking, talking to you guys, seeing what's what, and uh, telling you about about my days, about Rad Robot, about what's going on. So first. I guess this is a palm tree. <laughs> this is not a palm tree. Oh, jeez, this is not a palm tree. Uh, let's do. Let's just make a really cheesy palm tree, for the sake of brevity. Here you go. Oh yeah, look at those leaves on that palm tree. And uh, let's give this palm tree a coconut. And uh, lines. They got those lines going because I'm lazy and I don't feel like drawing the actual thing. Anyway, so there's your palm tree. Over here is the ocean. And let's make. Let's just color this up. So recently I went to the beach. And this is the first time I went to the beach in a while. Uh, I love the beach. I don't know if you guys love the beach, but I love the beach. Specifically, though, I love the beach when there's, like, no one on it because I'm, I don't like a lot of people that go to the beach. Especially, like, the really, like, commercial ones. There's, like, boardwalks and people, like, walking around and throwing frisbees at your head and, like, broing it up. Like, I get it. You guys are all having fun, and that's good. I'm glad you're having fun. But, like, man, sometimes you're just the worst. Like, just stop being the worst. It's just, like, obnoxious, you know? I don't know. Beaches are fun, though. I love, like, a beach where it's quiet. There's, like, no one around. It's just you or whoever you're with and you're just chilling and you're sitting on the beach the last time i went i just drew on the beach just painted some stupid little pictures and just you know i had a fun time it was great uh and then i left i like went there and chilled for an hour maybe two and then drove like two hours back but it was worth it uh, so we are going to fill in this uh, beachy, beachy keen. So I don't know if I've ever shown a beach from Dude Town. Maybe I have. Um, I mean, I painted that picture at the beach of a beach, which I guess was in Dude Town. But I don't think I've ever featured one. But, by the way, are you guys excited for the new comic? So the new comic that will be coming out in August, pretty soon, is... It's a webcomic. It's called Way Back When. It kind of chronalizes the beginning stages of Dude Town. But it's like 65 million years ago. So there's going to be dinosaurs. There's going to be weird creatures. There's going to be things like you've never seen before. And connections that uh, will be made that will make you go gasp uh, so I'm spending a while on the I don't know if I like those colors I'm spending a while on this beach here we'll get to the the dude soon enough so what I really would love for these to be is live streams that way you can have like input and be like oh lee i love your stuff or oh lee you suck go die somewhere because we're the internet and we hate everything uh yeah the internet's pretty scary now let's put in some dots for sand and this is lagging because i'm doing screen capture so 
these are always going to be a little off. I hate the lag, the input lag. It's like you move, you know, I'm using a tablet here and uh, it doesn't matter. You're moving fast and it's lagging. It's going to throw you off. Uh, let's go to the ocean. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be, yo, what? It's going to be a nice, uh, it's going to be a nice, like, sunset. I used to go to the beach all the time when I was little. Uh, went with my aunt and my uncle and my cousins. We'd always have sandwiches we made. Now, there was always seagulls. And seagulls are kind of like the worst because uh, they're just it's the most annoying birds. And I mean, they have a good spot on the beach where, you know, everybody's got food and whatnot. But uh, anyway, these seagulls used to just like really like mess with us. So one day, one of the seagulls stole my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So in hindsight, this wasn't exactly the best thing to do, but me and my cousin uh, tried to build a trap for the seagull, which was a hole. And this hole was to lure the seagull in with food and then bury the seagull in the hole so he couldn't get out and then we'd be like haha seagull that's what you get for taking our food we didn't actually go through with it because we would have been horrible human beings but man i wanted to like pay that seagull back man he was just he was just ugh, it was awful there you go nighttime nighttime at the beach uh, Let's give this palm tree a color. So recently I started messing around with some animation. And it is interesting. Because uh, I, I used to do stop motion animation, but digital animation, I never. I'm like, Ugh, how do you do that? So. You know, going from that to digital, it seems like it could be easier, but it's also like I feel like I'm in less control. But if it's not going to take me like an entire work day to do like two minutes of animation, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, let's make a little. Let's make a little moon. A little moon. A big moon. Let's make a big moon. Let's make that moon yellow. Big old yellow moon. So far this looks like, whoa, two moons? I can make like so many moons. Too many moons. <laughs> Did you guys ever see that? Too many cooks. It was great. All right. Now we're gonna... We're gonna do a little bit of... A little bit of... A little bit of color. A little bit of color up in here. So I love bright colors. I used to wear ridiculously bright colors all the time uh, until I was told by someone very close to me that I was wearing too many bright colors. <laughs> And that's when I realized, you're right, I probably shouldn't wear a purple shirt with teal colored shorts and multicolored shoes. Uh, I was just, I was, it was too much. Now, I use color as an accent. You know, that way it has more, has more weight to it. It's like in the original Star Wars movies. There wasn't that many lightsaber fights. There was hardly any. 
So when the lightsaber came out, you were like, yo, this this means business. But in the prequels, there's like a thousand lightsaber fights. It doesn't have any weight to it. It's just... It seems so unnecessary. So it feels like they're like glow sticks. Just fly, flinging around glow sticks. Here we go again. I don't know how I feel about those colors. I never think about this. We could do, um, let's just do a very, all right, for the sake of brevity, we'll just, man, this is, Super lagging. Um, for the sake of brevity, we're just gonna we're just gonna go to another blue for now. I'll come back to it. I'll come back to it. Don't worry. All right. So now we're going to draw a dude. So what kind of dude do we want to see? First, we're going to go to a new layer. And we're going to make... Um, whoa, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Um, let's make, just like make a chill dude. Chillin'. Just a chill man. He's going to be... See, this is the stuff about digital. See this? This is the little selection tool, right? When this is like here, I can't do anything. And this is stuff that just bothers me with digital. And I get it. I've been doing it for a while, but eh, it's still not it's still not the same, man. It's awesome. It's still not the same. So we'll do We'll do we'll do the cool man. That's what we'll do. You guys ever see the cool man? Got a picture of him right on my phone. Because I might be a narcissist, but probably not. Not as bad as your favorite political candidate. Donald Dump. Now we're not gonna get political here. But I am just gonna say, like, don't be don't be a fool. Come on. All right. So, as always, classic underbite. Cool man. Cool man's got a good underbite. Cool man is also a bright color too, but he's got these sweet shades. He's got these sweet, like, triangular Squirtle Squad. Shades. <laughs> Did you guys ever see that episode, Squirtle Squad? Pokemon? Pokemon Go has been, like, taking over the world, so... I've been thinking about those sunglasses a lot lately. They were just the coolest things. And I guess we'll make, we'll make these have a little bit more of a curve to them, because... Because Cool Man is... Cool Man is my dude. Okay, and he doesn't need to be. He doesn't need to be living in the shadow of the Squirrel Squad, as cool as they are. He doesn't need it. Also, if you guys have seen, we've got a pretty sweet deal right now. If you go to the Rad Robot Shop, we're doing fifteen percent off the entire store when. You enter the code Pokemon. I don't know. Are you guys Pokemon goers? I know everybody's freaking out. Oh, Pokemon Go like made these kids jump off a cliff. And Pokemon Go got this lady stuck in a tree. And Pokemon Go made uh, my daughter get hit by a car. No. Okay. Look, Pokemon Go didn't do any of that. You know who did that? People. People did that. Because people are stupid. We're just kind of really dumb sometimes. That's okay. 
we learn from our mistakes. But if you get hit by a car because you're playing Pokemon, I, come on. <laughs> you got hit by a car because you were being stupid, not because you were playing Pokemon. All right, yo, cool man looks so cool. Just, you know, be aware of your surroundings, guys. You can't blame a game. I mean, people get, like, hit by cars or walk off cliffs, I guess, all the time because they're just stupid and they're not paying attention to where they're going because they're invested in whatever it is they're doing. Texting, I don't know, writing something, I don't know. Could be anything. Just don't blame Pokemon. It's Pokemon. People are getting out. They're meeting friends. They're meeting new people they never met. They're having fun. Just, you know, to me that's a positive. But, you know, people are like, oh, Pokemon. It's just making people brain dead. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know, man. People like to complain about everything. But not cool, man. He's too chill for that. So I like to imagine that cool man, you know, he was always kind of mysterious growing up. Maybe maybe he had like a, a bullied childhood that uh, made him kind of unsure of himself. And somewhere down the line, he met someone who kind of was like, hey, you just got to be yourself, man. And uh, that made him realize like, all I got to do is be myself. I don't got to worry about anyone else. And when he finally realized that, he didn't even care what the bullies were saying. He went out, he got these shades, which kind of changes his life. Because no longer did he have to hide from going outside. He could walk and bask in the beauty of the sun. And all his haters with these sweet, sweet shades. And almost forgot Cool Man's signature shirt <laughs> that is very green oh here's the colors green and purple like I was talking about hey man it's not me this time it's cool man he's allowed he's the cool man let's give him a little boop So I'll probably get these down to a uh, an art logo really fast. But for now, it's kind of just like chilling. Like, we're just hanging out, you know? Maybe you're the cool man. Maybe you're the cool... Maybe you need to realize that you're the cool man. So you can go outside and take the world by force and just be yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's all you can do. You don't have to be anyone else. You don't have to be super cool or, you know, by emulating another person. There's too much emulation, man. Even in art. So much art school is, like, about emulation. And so many professors would be like, oh, you gotta be like me, you gotta be like me. Too many lines, too much this, too much that. And that works in the beginning, but after a while, you just gotta, like, you just gotta be your self and use what you learn to create and define your own style because that's what you got that's what you're working with for the rest of your life did i come up with a very sophisticated style no look at this but you know at the same time i do do uh i do do like to do like a stylized realism too which i don't know some of you if you've seen it you'd be like what this is this is the same guy that does red robot yes uh, but I've always been drawn more towards cartoons. But, like, you know, stop emulating people, man. Come up with your own style. And the worst thing is I hate, like, there's so much fan art now, which is great. But if that's how you solely exist as an artist or if that's how you mostly exist as an artist, I don't know. I don't really have a lot of respect for you because, to me, creativity is what makes an artist, not craft. Uh you know, and you could say that what I'm doing right now, drawing, this is the craft, but the idea of, I don't know, like coming up with a character, coming up with a setting, coming up with a world, that's the art. 
you know, that's the creativity. And I don't think that all people can be artists. I think that all people can do art, but I think artists are born and they have to like nurture their, you know, talents. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them don't, but I'm telling you, man, you just be yourself. Don't care what anybody thinks. I used to care. I used to be like, oh, well, I want to draw this stupid bird with like long human arms, but like, what will people think of me? <laughs> Who cares, you know? If it makes you happy, you're doing it with a passion, you know? And if you're doing it with a passion, you're always going to be better than if you're doing it to appease someone else. And I assure you, no matter what you're doing, no matter what it is, uh, if you do it with passion, there's always going to be someone out there that will enjoy it. You'll always have fans. If you're true to yourself, you'll always have fans. Because, you know, there's other weird people out there. I'm very surprised at, like, you know, how many people are digging Red Robot these days. And now that uh, I have much more free time to work on Red Robot stuff, there's going to be even more weird things, like these Let's Draws. So your support means a lot. But, uh, you know, not being afraid to be me has given me the opportunity to do these things and make these terrible let's draws with umbrellas that are not actually accurate and I don't care right now because I'm ah, a phone my phone all right guys so this is cool man so just about to wrap it up right here we're gonna do we're gonna color his his arm <laughs> little purple arm he's got a nice glass right here uh let's give this glass this color here we go yo cool man's living the life i'm pretty jealous of him right now i wonder what he's drinking what do you think he's drinking i think he's drinking blue lemonade he's not drinking milk that's for sure oh wow the other let's draw had a drink in it almost like drinks and a little umbrella and this umbrella is gonna be yellow a yellow umbrella we're gonna make it yellow and orange a yellow umbrella all right and there's cool man he's uh he's at the beach digging his life digging what he's got going for him just remember you too can be the cool man just be yourself be confident be cool maybe sunglasses will help i don't know but what i do know is that this has been another let's doodle from rad robot and uh we're just gonna end it right here there's much more i could do this but here we go. Cool, man. Living the life. Oh, man. This is just kind of like killing me because I want to do more. But there we go. We'll just maybe give you a little bit of sun. All right, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more of these Let's Doodles. And if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, anything at all uh, that you want to see drawn, please let me know. Whether it's cool man or a cool pig or a cool dinosaur or an uncool pig or dinosaur. I don't know. Anyway, guys, have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon.